Gangwon is hailed by many as the most beautiful province in Korea. It's also the place to be for the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. So for this season of Travel SSBD, we decided to go around Korea, perhaps explore places that are less discovered. So the journey from Daegu to Gangwon was very eventful. It started with one of the tyres of our rented car staring. Then what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? We decided, you know what, we're hungry and we need to eat. It's an old school, traditional way of eating. You mix it around and he's going to shake it. And I did not realise that he's like some bodybuilding champion. And you know what? That lunch was extra tasty. And the drive to Gangwon was a few hours long. Through the fog, the rain, we are clearly not very prepared for this weather. So after hours and hours of driving, we finally find ourselves in a parking lot. So I got my very first clue and it was real scenic. Is that a pun? I see what you did there. An intensive repair foot mask. But seriously, what has these two got to do with each other? I'm really confused. I have to pedal. That's why I have to... Turns out that it was an abandoned train track and you have to self-pedal all around so that you can admire the beauty of the countryside. It's starting to rain really heavily, you guys. Oh, it's colourful. Photo time. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever done and I also have developed some awesome leg muscles. This hotel, I want to give it 10 stars. From the moment that we came here, even though it was in the dead of the night, we had the best rest ever in a beautiful, gorgeous room. I don't want to leave. So we took a little drive up to Samchok today and this is Samchok Station because that's where the sea train is, one of the most iconic things here in Gangwon. The sea train is a great way to take you around the countryside and to see the sea. Aha. But um, I also saw that you can also do that rail paddling thing. So there are two options for you when you come to Samchok, probably providing two different types of scenery. In the meantime, I'm just going to grab some Instagrammable pictures because look at that beautiful industrial area. See the things that we do for an Instagram photo. It's eerily gorgeous. Just like me. Guys, I saw something like right here beside the train track. It is so unusual. Look at the grapes. I don't know if you can actually take some, you know. Oh, okay, I guess not. It says no. But hey, you know what? At least even though it's raining, something fruitful came out of this shoot. Right after that, I received another clue and it was sunscreen. Oh no, I don't make me do. Over the sea. Are we going parasailing? And please, weather gods, be kind to me so that I don't have to use this. This is very cute though. It turned out to be a zip line across the sea and I found the love of my life there. A very cute Korean boy waiting up there to push you off. Okay, say hello. Oh, hi. He says hello, I say hey. Once again, a cute guy is gonna let me go. Ta-da! Nabi! Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh man, this is beautiful, you guys. I'm a gymnast. Are you ready for me though? Are you? So we really worked up an appetite and we stepped into a crab specialty restaurant. Look at this wonderful pumpkin rice. What could go wrong with crabs, right? And when it arrived, I'm a bit confused. But I've never seen crab that looks like this before. I still don't know whether it's raw or fermented. It's not cooked for sure. What do we do with it? So we dug in and ate it. I'm not sure if you guys are going to like this. I'm going to have to like eat a little bit more and get back to you about it in just a while. Right after that, we headed straight to the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics Experience Centre where you can actually see all kinds of winter sports and I think I'm ready. I can't wait for the games to start and I really, really wonder who's going to win the games. So this is like a little exhibition area. These are the different kinds of sports that you can expect. I wonder if making cold jokes is a, considered a winter sport as well. If that, I will ace it. You've got about five experiences all together for you. The stick is almost as tall as me. Is this right? That means I score, right? And this includes a virtual reality experience. Is that hard, right? <laughs> and you actually get to see how it's like for like ski jumpers and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Woo! What? Ah, oh, I just landed. Oh, that shadow does not look like me at all. I'm not that tall. Time to leave them a postcard to wish them all the best. That's my work of art. And I left a very nice message. All the best. And please watch Trevor SSBD. <laughs>
So after we took a drive to Alpensian Ski Resort, I know what you're thinking. In summer, why are you going to a ski resort? Well, there are loads more things to do during other seasons other than winter at a ski resort. And going to Ocean 700 was one of them. It's both an indoor and outdoor water theme park. And I think it's pretty cool because you avoid uh, the heat outside or the cold. And it's quite ingenious actually to have it indoors. Definitely worth a shot if you're bringing your family for a holiday. I actually really wanted to take a dip because it was really hot just now. But now it's actually too cold, so I'm going to keep my clothes on. No luck for you today. So, do you see that structure behind me? The ginormous one there? You may not be able to tell what it is, but it's actually the ski jumping tower! It looks incredibly high, I don't know how they're going to do it. But come Winter Olympics 2018, this place is going to be filled with people and they're all going to have their eyes on that as the competitors go race down the slope. And um, we're going to head up there to realise my dreams for my future career. And we're heading up! Check out on my left, it is the ski slope where the ski jumpers get off during the Olympic Games. So we're actually going, I think, as high as the ski slope right now. Can you imagine this place where the Winter Olympics 2018 happened? Guys, if you're afraid of heights, do not look down! The reason why there are holes on this bridge is so that when winter comes and when the snow falls, then obviously it won't collect and uh, they can walk easily to the slope without slipping. Okay, so the ski jumping slope that we're at right now isn't even the steepest one. But can you imagine the adrenaline and the nerves before they jump off? It's incredible. I knew it! This is the last clue, right? No? And where's my makeup item? Zoom! Oh no. No, 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 no. Seriously? An alpine coaster? No, Chris, I dressed up so nicely for you. So we're on a ski lift in Pyeongchang, and I cannot begin to describe how weird it is to be on a ski lift when it's not winter. But it's actually pretty beautiful. We should have a winter version of SSPD. All my coat jokes will fit right in with the weather. I've never been on something like this before. It's almost like a luge combined with a mini roller coaster. It's not that scary, but if you're afraid of heights, it might get you still. I'll give the Alpine roller coaster 9 over 10. That was so much fun! And I'm pretty sure I'll pine for it while I'm in Singapore. Well, you know what? I've never heard of Gangwon in my life. Only Gangnam, which is in Seoul. So the moment I was told we were coming to Gangwon, I was very puzzled, you know? What were we doing? Turns out that Gangwon is actually super scenic, very beautiful, not just for winter. As you can see, we're in summer right now. But I would love to see this place, especially during the Olympic season. But on top of that, they've got wonderful service, great people, hotels are beautiful. I don't want to leave this place. And I think if you want a different side of Korea, other than the usual Seoul and Busan, this is definitely a place that is worth a road trip down with your friends and family. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Brought to you by Korea Tourism Organization.